two-tenths of a mile, make a slight right turn. I don't know why she always knows when I'm getting, re getting ready to record. We're on our way to Jerome now, so... Make a slight... <laughs> The town was designated as a National Historic District in 1967. It was once known as the wickedest town in the West. Today it's nicknamed Ghost City because it's said that the ghosts outnumber the residents. Walking down the street, you just can't help but get a feel for what it must have been like back then. From what I read, gunfights rang through the streets. It had a total of 21 bars and eight prostitution houses. One of the interesting areas of Jerome is the Cribs District. It's across the street from the English Kitchen, now Bobby D's Barbecue. There was a back alley where all of the buildings were part of Prostitution Row. They called it Husband's Alley. It was a passage from the saloons to the brothels. Patrons could discreetly walk from the saloon to the brothel without being seen. The Nellie Bly was previously a brothel, known as Jenny's Place, named after legendary madam Jenny Bowders. She was originally from Belgium. From what I read, Jenny herself wasn't very attractive. The writer said she had a face of a mule and the laugh of a horse. Jenny was murdered in 1905. At the time of her death, she was reportedly one of the wealthiest women in Arizona. The Nellie Bly is now home to one of the largest collection of kaleidoscopes in the world. In the 1930s, they set off a huge explosion here in Jerome. 260,000 pounds of dynamite went off, equal to six freight trains. The explosion was so great that it caused the ground to shift and the tunnels from the mines underneath the ground started to crack. Some of them were 4,800 feet deep and it ended up pulling down. A whole bunch of the buildings came down in town. One of the buildings that slid down the hill is the old jail. This is the old jail that slid down the hill. This isn't the place where it came to rest. It was actually moved here after it slid down. You can see all these uh, old foundations. This is where a lot of the buildings slid down the hill at one time. And the hill is still moving. This is the Bartlett Hotel. It was once the Grand View Hotel. It was destroyed by fire and later rebuilt out of brick, but due to the many landslips that the Bartlett was affected by, it now sits abandoned. Jerome is definitely a town that has reinvented itself. As you can see today, Jerome is a mixture of artists, musicians, writers, and restaurants. Speaking of restaurants... We're waiting at the Haunted Hamburger for them to call us. It's going to be about another 15 minutes or so. It's really crowded here. Probably because it's Saturday night, but we ate here before and it was really good. This is the view from our table inside the haunted hamburger. It's a very cool place. I'm going to turn you around here. This is the patio area. A short distance below the town are the remains of one of the most profitable mines in the world, the Little Daisy. The mine operated 5,000 feet down below the surface. Six tons of gold, 220 tons of silver, and 400,000 tons of copper were taken out of that mine. Okay, I'm gonna take you inside the viewing platform of the Audrey head frame. It says that the shaft is about 1,900 feet deep below. You can't see very well. Let me see if I can get down here. 
pretty dark down there. Oh, that's a good shot. Nineteen hundred feet down, everybody. This is a really cool little stop here. It's just a small little area where you can look down inside the mine shaft at the Audrey head frame, and then they have little exhibits around. But this is free just outside of the town of Jerome. So pretty neat little stop if you're ever in the area. I would suggest coming and stopping by, especially if you have kids or something. I think they would really enjoy coming over here and looking at everything, looking uh, all the way down inside the head frame. That was very, very cool. No trip to Jerome would be complete without a tour of the Gold King Mine in Ghost Town. This is a self-guided tour. It's an awesome place to visit. We're getting ready to leave Jerome, Arizona now. Really cool little stop. Love this town. We had so much fun here. We'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. <music>